Andy, I suppose it was a major surprise for everyone seeing Clyde Farlow missing from the team sheet. Can you explain what happened to him in the in the last day or so? Um, he's not quite ready. In fact, he's 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 uh, progressing pretty well, you know. Um, but he's he's not quite there yet. He, he could possibly be there in the next few days or a week or whatever. But we just think that Phil May deserves it as well. He's um, playing some outstanding rugby at this moment in time. In the last game he played, he scored a hat trick, um, scrummaging uh, very well, etc. So he deserves his start and. Uh, Tiger will um, keep working away to be fit, hopefully, for, for the French game. And just to clear up, it's, it's still the calf issue. It wasn't something new this week, right? Yeah, he's just progressing through that. Um, one of the other players' names, Stuart McCloskey, I'm sure he's delighted. He kind of showed faith in him after good performances in November. What, have you, what, have, what did you see from Stuart back in November that has kind of made you stick with his partnership with Gary? Um, I thought he handled, handled himself pretty well. You know, he's... he's He's been desperate enough to to get the opportunities and, and and do well, and you know I think the good thing for us is that there's more in him at, at this level, and we're excited to see that. And also as well, the, I think it's been confirmed in the last while that the roof will be closed on Saturday. How much do you want your players to kind of experience that really raucous Cardiff atmosphere? Yeah, no, it's great. It's great. It's a fantastic stadium, isn't it? You know we've been there before when it's closed and uh, there's no atmosphere like it which is fantastic so it can only be good for us you know we ha we have to agree to uh, whether um, if they want the roof closed and we want we want it closed as well you know to sample the atmosphere and keep progressing on, on our journey and do you think it makes the, the challenge tougher even though you you wanted it and you, you know you were it doesn't really get any, it doesn't really get any tougher than the Wales first up you know the, Everyone spoke over the last two weeks now about the record, you know, and my record's not great there neither. I mean, I, I'm thinking back, uh, I lost there for Saracens. I actually played a rugby league game there as well, and I lost there as well. So we, we know that it's, um, it's a really tough place to go. So, um, but that's what we want. That's where we want to be and challenge ourselves. And what I would say is that we judge ourselves on our preparation and our preparation has been top draw. It has been as good as I've seen it uh, in, in regards to getting ready for, for any type of competition. So hopefully that can continue over the next couple of days, preparation-wise, and it can translate into a good performance. Um, Andy, does Phil Lee's contribution in November, um, when he stepped in for Tyke, uh, ease your concern uh, about Tyke's absence and how well he did when he came in? Oh, 100%. <coughs> yeah, he's... He's been playing good rugby for a, for, a, for a good while now, but coming back from the uh, autumn or, or any camp that he's been in with us, he's always had that, that trust uh, fr from us, us. He's a massive personality within our squad. You know, he's very popular, you know, and uh, uh, but coming out of the autumn, coming out of the autumn and how that translates going back into Connacht and his performances since then has, has, has been top draw. Does uh, Bundy's lack of game time, did that make that decision easier with, with, with Stuart? Keeping oh, well, I'm, I'm open-minded enough to see how we go as far as Prep's, con preps concerned. Um, Bundy will make the dressing room feel right, 100% in being there on the bench, and he did that in the autumn as well, came on the bench and came off the bench and, and brought a, uh, a good deal of power and um, experience onto the field, you know, for, for later on, so... We're expecting more of the same in that regard. Uh, and Ross being picked as the, the backup to, to, to Johnny, I mean, continues his, his story, if you like, uh, over the last um, uh, few months. What's wrong for him uh, to get in ahead of Jack? Uh, just training, really. Just uh, how he's gone about his business. And he's, he's continued like we knew he would do in regards to how he's been playing for, for Leinster. The the ownership, the, um, the authority that he's got within his game. And, and uh, the ownership of the plan going forward, and you know, when you've got authority like that, the the tents have come uh, a lot of trust around you as well. You know, so he's uh, he's had a good 12 days with us. It just gives your sense then of the whole sort of psychological backdrop to this game that gets talked about so much. So you got Warren saying Ireland are the big favourites. It's a free hit for us. And your friend Sean Edwards was talking about how this is Wales, Six Nations is everything, and Warren always felt that win your first one in Wales can, can win the title. So how do you see it? 
Well, I, I know that's exactly what they're thinking. Uh, you know, I, I don't know about a free shot, you know, free shot in, in Test match rugby. Where'd you get them from? You know, um, we'd all love to be able to buy one of those, but maybe I'll buy him a free shot after the game. Um, <laughs> but you know, there's absolutely no doubt knowing knowing Warren, <laughs> he'll expect his side to win, and so and so do I. I expect our side to win. You know, so he um, his his past track record shows shows what he's about in this competition, doesn't it? You know, so finding a way to win is, is, is always been the key to his teams, and uh, we're very aware of that. What do you need to do as a team to counteract what you know what Warren Gatton and the Welsh team is going to bring? Well, it's not for me to say here today. Come on, you won't want me to expose all that, but um, we've got to play our game, haven't we? You know, we, we, we think we know what, what Warren's sides are, are, are going to bring to the table. Stopping it is, is, is different, but at the same time, We've been planning to be a, at our best and be ourselves and take our game to the Welsh team, and hopefully that's going to be good enough. Just on Tony, it sounds like you're hopeful for round two of the French game. At this stage, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, um, he's had a good few sessions under his belt now, so um, he's got a bit, bit more uh, progress to go, but uh, he'll continue that over the, over the coming days, and we'll see how we roll into the beginning of the next week. Last one, sorry, just on uh, just give it a sense of heading into a, a big year uh, as such, Andy, with the team and like an overarching sort of view. And what's been your messaging to the players uh, in this camp about what lies ahead of them? You know, the general sort of team, if you like, of what, what you want to see out of them. I know we're talking about winning championships and winning trophies, but just in terms of developing as a team. Honestly, just Wales. Just Wales. It's a tough old game, you know. We, we, um, We'd love to start this tournament off with a bang, but we know how difficult that is. So we're full concentration on this game, and then on to the next one. You know, but what we would definitely um, uh, realise as a group that you know those guys you get to take the field, the, the 23 that get to take the field for for the first game in the, in the competition, they're the lucky ones. You know, they're in the driving seat, but they also know the competition that's um, that's developing behind them and getting ready to take their chance so um, there's, a, there's a good sense of uh, togetherness within the squad but a good sense of competition for players is, 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 where, is where it should be you know so um, again those lads are in the driving seat but the other lads are, uh, are, are waiting and watching and uh, preparing for, for, for a chance and hopefully they'll be ready to take it if and when needed.